Today, we are talking about the secret to manifest anything you want. There are a few steps that you have to follow, but if you're disciplined and you follow them, you are going to be able to get whatever you want. So, let's get into it, guys. Hello everyone, my name is Al and welcome to my channel Simply Create with Al. I'm here making manifesting easier for you, sharing all my tips and advice so that you can use them to create the life I've always dreamed of. And if you're in need of coaching, go to my description box. All information is there. I also have a Facebook group, so if you're interested, take a look at the description box. But right now, let's get into today's topic. A few weeks ago, I got a request to talk about the most important things when manifesting a specific person. And this video is that, but this is about manifesting everything because I don't know if you have realized that, but the way you manifest one thing is the way you manifest anything in your life. It's all the same. It's all energy. The difference between a small manifestation and a big manifestation is the way you look at it because everything's neutral. Everything is accessible to you. Everything is possible for you to get. The only thing that is making it difficult is your resistance, is how you're looking at your desire. It's you putting them on a pedestal. Is you um, thinking that they have a brain and they have their own ideas of what they want instead of reminding yourself, hey, everyone, everything is me pushed out. Everything is basically reflecting back to me my own assumptions about myself, about them, the world, how people treat themselves, about relationships, about whatever, okay? It's all your own assumptions. It's all your own beliefs. This week, I was talking to a few of my clients exactly about that, the fundamentals of manifestation. And I also wrote a post in the Facebook group about it. And that because I noticed that so many people are like, oh, now I realize what I'm doing wrong. Now I realize where I'm not being consistent. Now I realize what I should be doing, actually. Because it's not about the techniques, guys. <laughs> you know, it's not about the techniques. Sometimes we need techniques to get us in that um, state of consciousness, right? But um, it's not about them. It's about other stuff. And we are going to get into this. In the book, Fundamentals, Neville talks exactly about that. He talks about the purpose of metaphysics, which is a complete rebirth of the self, okay? A radical change of our psychology, our mindset. And for that, we need three things. Self-observation, definition of an aim, and detachment. And we are going to get into this. But another aspect of that is discipline. We need to be disciplined. We need to want our new reality more than we want the past. We need to want to live that amazing relationship, if we take the example of a specific person, more than we want to keep telling ourselves and suffering and going through what happened in the past, okay? For that, we need discipline. The thoughts and reactions and assumptions, they are coming from your state of consciousness. So you can change that. We can get out of the habit, break the habit of keep telling yourself the old story. So the first thing that you do when a desire come up and you want a change in your life, a change in the 3D, a change in yourself and your state of consciousness is self-observation. There is no rebirth, there is no change of mindset, radical change of your psychology, if you are not changing yourself, okay? And to change yourself, you have to figure out what's going on within you. So what you do is you pay attention to your reactions to life. You pay attention to your reactions to the 3D, to other people because your reactions is going to create your 3D, right? So when we talk about reactions, it can be emotional reactions, but it can be your assumptions, your inner thoughts, your inner dialogues, um, your feelings, everything that is happening within you. So if something 
um, happens in the 3D, you're observing something, someone is telling you something, okay, for example, and you assume, oh, that means that they don't want to be with me, that means that they love someone else, or that means that I'm not going to get the job, that means that I'm not enough, I'm not good enough for the job, that means that I am not going to achieve what I want, that, we, that I will never travel the world, that I will never have enough money to do this and that. If you are assuming this, then you are creating that. So you have to become aware of your inner processes so that you can change that. After a period of self-observation, what you're going to do is to create a definition of an aim. And for that, you have to basically become clear of what you want. You have to know what you really want, what your desired reality should be. And for example, if it is, I am in a happy, committed relationship with my SP, you have to align your inner process to that. You basically have to make sure that every thought and assumptions and inner dialogues and feelings, everything is aligned to that. And when it's not, when a negative thought pops up, you have to redirect your focus to your desired reality. So what Neville said is you can create an imaginal act, something in an imaginal act, you can use any technique that you want that triggers your imagination, okay? Um, that means exactly that you are the person who you are creating, who you want to be. So if it's a negative thought about a third party, then you can create a conversation with your specific person where they are telling you, you are my only one, there is only you for me, I love you so much, there is no one that compares to you, okay? Whatever it is, it just has to mean that they are committed, that you are in that happy and committed relationship with your specific person. And this is basically your cue to know if you are thinking from it or if you are thinking of it. When you are thinking from it, you are going to notice your inner process is aligned to what, where you want to go, where you want to be, okay? That's your compass. Your aim is your compass. And if your reactions in your inner world are off, are negative, then you know you're just thinking of a reality where you are with your specific person, but you're not thinking from that reality that you want. And this is where detachment comes in. Detachment is basically you are detaching yourself from your current life, from your current 3D, from your current circumstances and all the thoughts, the assumptions, the feelings that is connected with it. And you're putting your energy into what you want, the desired reality. So you are making your inner world more real to you than the 3D. Whenever the 3D is triggering, whenever the 3D is heavy, it's not what you want. The more you have to go into your inner world, the, the more you have to entertain your desired reality. When you see something that you don't like, you have to go to your inner world. Because what's going to um, create the success that you want is your ability to detach yourself from your undesired reality. It could be by understanding that things are going to change anyway, because everything is in constant change, okay? You are changing, the 3D has to change. Or it can be for other people to be like completely immersed in their inner world and not even give enough for what's going on in the 3D, because the, the inner world feels so good to them. But whatever it is, it's important for you to understand Without detachment, you cannot, or it's almost impossible. I'm not going to say impossible because impossible is a word that shouldn't even exist. Everything's possible. But it's very, 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 very complicated, very difficult to achieve what you want if you cannot free yourself from what's going on in the 3D. Every reaction, every emotional reaction, every assumption that you create through what you are seeing, okay, because of what you are seeing, 
is basically recreating the same story to replay again. So if you want to get out of that reality, you have to have that ability to distance yourself from it and immerse yourself in the new story, whatever it is, whether um, it's your SP or a new job or that you have enough money and a great health. It is important for you to understand everything is possible. You can have everything, but you have to want that reality more than you are, than you want to react to the 3D. Then you want to keep telling yourself how bad things are in the 3D. Okay. You got this. You can do this. That's it from me, guys. Thank you so much for being here. If you like this video, give me a like, subscribe to my channel. We are going to talk soon. Bye, guys.